Welcome everyone to another video and today I'm going to be talking about uh, mirror acrylic. So it's a follow on from my last video so if you haven't checked out my last video I was also doing a wall art piece with mirror acrylic. Go check it out on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so this one I just wanted to also create another piece with mirror acrylic. I wanted to do some laser engraving so I did some, um, some of that on this piece plus laser cutting. And I wanted to actually also create a little bit of a functional wall art where obviously you can see yourself it's mirror acrylic. And I wanted to have a nice blend with uh, some positivity and, um, and using certain colors that is more for the feminine side. It's, women will tend to prefer this type of um, video because of, the, um, of the mirror acrylic, the colors and all that kind of stuff. And it will also go quite well with, on, on weddings. So, um, but yes, you know, we, we also do have different colors of acrylic so you know you can use this more for in, in, in certain homes that suit that color palette so yeah I hope this uh, video is going to inspire you let's dive straight into um, all the tips and tricks that I had to do in order to get these three uh, mirror panels 100% okay so here I was actually doing a couple of tests um, so yeah i was just trying to see if i had to go more in focus or more out of focus or if i had to use the the default autofocus uh, height which um i actually rather preferred i actually didn't go more in or out of focus like in my previous videos so if you haven't if you're not too sure on what i'm talking about go have a look uh, so this one here was in focus from the uh, using the automatic focus on the thunderbolt and um, yeah, then I was just testing with a different uh, DPI, 200, 500, and I found that the 200 DPI, 250 DPI, actually came out a little bit better, more of a softer, a softer finish. Um, so I wanted to have it more of a, a watermark finish rather than a bright finish. And uh, yeah, so I used the magnetic risers, and uh, that way it just has a nice clean cut on the edge. So you don't get any refractions when cutting with the acrylic. Uh, so yeah, just obviously doing using the, the cut that I previously had as a jig and then I just put the material back inside there. So this is the automatic focus um, where you can see the Z axis is 2.3. And uh, yeah, just the time lapse. So you can see on the outer side, I used the actual excess of the um, the material just to help uh, align it again and this is just me doing a laser marking uh, the laser marking helps to uh, align all the laser cutouts the text cutouts so you can actually align it exactly where it needs to be put onto the uh, material so as you can see here um, I'm placing it exactly where it needs to be which makes life a lot easier <laughs> Yeah, um, if you guys aren't doing that, I would really I highly recommend that you do. And here I'm just engraving on um, rose gold uh, acrylic. And uh, that was the actual main panel that where you could actually, the idea was actually that's the one that you can actually see yourself in. You know, you can use that as a functional mirror. This is the um, bronze uh, mirror acrylic. Uh, do the, just um, doing the engraving there and then I also put it, some motivational text on that and uh, I mixed it up with uh, this is our pink um, mirror acrylic so it was actually quite nice using the different combinations um, with pink bronze and rose gold those were the combinations that I used as you can see here I use the rose gold cutouts on the pink then I use a normal pink um, I mean the normal rose gold mirror which is what you could see yourself in and the last panel was the bronze uh, mirror gold with the pink cutout. Okay, so here we are on in Lightburn, and uh, this is the this is the design of the first panel. Uh, all the all the other two panels are exactly the same. So the laser cutting and engraving will be the exact same. On the cutting side, here you can see that it's uh, eight millimeters per second air assist on. 65% power and I wanted to have it a little bit stronger than normal because I wanted to fall down when I actually did the cutting I had it raised the the mirror acrylic on the um, the magnetic risers uh, The in blue here was the laser marking now This was also the same as the red if I had to cut it out 
But when I was doing the um, marking to align everything together, the um, the, line, the the settings here is what here was 60 millimeters per second, seven percent power, air assist off. So I just wanted to have a very light marking. So when I had the the letter cutouts, I could just align it 100 percent. And also when I did the uh, uh, mounting of the cutouts onto the back of the acrylic, I had it um, on double sided tape. So I actually um, put, put double sided tape onto the Onto the onto the material, and I cut it with the double sided tape, and then I peeled it off, and obviously stuck it down, which made things um, a lot better. Uh, in terms of the engraving, now it was a thousand millimeters per second, air assist off, eighteen percent power, and the DPI was two fifty. So if you change that DPI and made it five hundred. All it did was that, in, in, in what I noticed, that it had a lighter engraving. But I didn't want a lighter engraving. I wanted more of a softer watermark uh, engraving. I didn't want the, the engraving to stand out too much. So if you are looking to have the engraving stand out a little bit more, or have it a little bit more brighter, then I would say then increase the, the DPR, have it at 500 DPR instead of at 250 DPR. Here I also had the air assist off, just to have as little dust as possible. So yeah, these were the settings that I used um, to create uh, the, the wall art, uh, the, the three-piece wall art, um, yeah, the mirror acrylic. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with how things uh, came out. Okay, so there we go. So those are the, the tips and the tricks and the settings that are used for the three-panel uh, mirror. So it's actually quite a nice um, art piece to create. It, it, it's functional. Uh, you can use it in your home. Um, and it looks actually quite nice. It's, it's, it's actually, I, I like it. It's creative, it's positive. So it's, it's, uh, for me, I think it's actually pretty cool. You know, obviously you have to choose the right color palette and you have to mix and match to suit your home. Uh, this was obviously uh, directed towards uh, more of a feminine and maybe a, a, a woman's uh, room or young girl's room. Um, even a, a wedding would be so great, you know, also with that kind of um, feature. On, on with one of the pictures or something like that um, but yeah I hope that you have uh, got some inspiration from this video uh, I hope that I'm starting to show you um, uh, what possibilities that can be done uh, with the Thunderbolt and um, yeah if you want to see a live demonstration I have created a video on uh, on the Thunderbolt so it's on YouTube so you can go check it out and um, yeah I'm gonna be probably doing some wood on the next video it's something that's also quite popular and uh, look also we sell this mirror acrylic so if you do want to buy thank you so much that will be great and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day